Hey guys, it's Drek. Happy Tuesday. This is a bonus upload, and it's no secret that I'm not the biggest believer in the Nerf Rebels marketing. I don't think that it's marketed very well, but at least they're solid performance blasters that do unique things and have the same, in a lot of ways, the same capabilities that Nerf Blasters do now. Busby has decided to essentially copy Hasbro's marketing strategy almost identically, and we have the Busby logo here. They're calling this line of blasters Wings, and they're also taking kind of that bow approach for a lot of these blasters. So the blaster inside the package looks criminally small. It's very, very tiny. I want to say that this blaster MSRP'd for $5. The Draculina actually brought this one home from the grocery store because she just couldn't believe it. She thought it was a joke, and so she brought it home to kind of chuckle about it, but I figured as long as somebody had spent money on it, we would make a review about it. Now, gosh, I should have brought my Kanif out here to get this out of the package a little bit quicker. How do they twist these things? Yikes. Okay, so the thing that bothers me the most about it, other than its clearly floral kind of strange design, is that it's not a performance blaster. We have maybe half an inch of effective barrel length. These grooves here in the side completely remove all purpose from half. This is essentially the same thing as saying there is no barrel from here forward, which is pointless. It makes a blaster that's supposed to be small, I guess, way longer than it needs to be. Down here, we say that this is being sold at Target and the biggest issue that I have with this is in addition to ruining a perfectly functional barrel system they've come in and they're calling these bird darts and they're claiming that the bird darts will get 35 feet and I just can't even fathom what person thought that it would be okay to attach wings to half inch foam backer rod darts. So that's why they have these channels is so that they can fit their Terabad darts in here. And there's no way to store these or holster these or anything like that because the wings are just so flimsy. It's, it's almost comical how bad this blaster is. So firing, we get about 20 feet. That's actually far better than I thought it would be. Let me see, I should have some Nerf darts in my par pocket. We have an elite dart. How does it fire the elite? Well, it fires the elite very well, actually. This is an on par performance with the Jolt. There must be a really serious spring in here. Well, it didn't fire that one at all. So I think it's hit or miss. There is definitely an air restrictor down inside here, and I'm blown away that it's firing the wings darts at all. Wow, look at that craftsmanship quality with the glue spill. Now, Busby darts tend to be a little bit harder. There's a much stiffer foam here, and adding these wings to the side, I don't believe has been done through it. It's just something that they glued into channels that they carved. But I wanted to make a video review showcasing this. I think that this is a firm don't buy it. I can't imagine any utility to having fins on your dart like that. And the blaster itself, while it's actually performing on par with a jolt, doesn't really meet the quality standards for what I'd consider in terms of its like physics, I guess. It doesn't perform as well as it could. So if you really like this tiny shell and this flimsy trigger, you could come in here and rebarrel this blaster. The priming bar is actually quite comfortable. I like having it in the back far more than down the handle, but that said, this one doesn't have much of a handle in the first place. So that's my review of the Busby Wings Dart Launcher. I don't think it has an actual name, but I'm not impressed with this. If you see these in stores, I highly recommend passing them by and getting their Nerf equivalent. They do tend to be a couple dollars cheaper by and large, but mostly Busby blasters are a strict stay away from them unless they are air powered. Busby still makes good air tank blasters, but this is an embarrassment. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I'll see you Wednesday with a regular upload.